Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video I'll be showing you how to root the Nexus 7 2013 and flash a custom recovery that is Clockwork Mod Recovery. So guys, this works with both the LTE and non-LTE variants of the Google Nexus 7 2013. So the first thing you do is make sure you back up your apps and data because to root the Nexus 7 2013 we'll have to unlock the bootloader and that will wipe your device. So make sure you back up everything and if you're not sure on how to back up your apps and data I'll leave a link to that video right below the like button in the description. Once you've backed everything up, click on link 1 from the download section in the description. That will take you to this page. Scroll down, click on this, download the zip file, save it somewhere on your PC. Clicking on link 2 will take you to this page. Android SDK Slim.zip. Again, download it, save it. Link 3 will take you to this page. This is a thread on XDA developers for Super SU. Scroll down and you'll find cwm slash twrp slash mobile load and installable zip so click on this and download the latest version of a super su that will also be a zip file save that too now link 4 will take you here clockwork clockwork mod rom manager so over here again scroll down select google nexus 7 2013 or 2013 lte so depending on the variant you have uh, select the file relevant I have a Google Nexus 7 2013 uh, non-LTE variant, so I'm going to select this. So guys, now on your Nexus 7, quickly go into Settings, About Device, and tap your build number seven times. That will unlock your developer options. So over here, enable USB debugging. All right, once you've done that, connect your Nexus 7 to the PC with a micro USB cable. So guys, right now, extract Android SDK Slim and also extract the latest USB driver Windows that we downloaded. So guys, now hit Windows and X on your keyboard, select Device Manager. You'd find Nexus 7 show up under, under other devices. So right click, update driver software, browse and navigate to wherever it is that you've extracted the USB drivers that we downloaded earlier. So hit next again and the drivers get installed and when prompted select allow USB debugging so now close it so navigate to Android SDK Windows so over here hold shift right click open command window here ADB reboot uh, sorry bootloader hit enter so now your Nexus 7 will reboot into the bootloader mode. So that is what you would see on your Nexus 7. And you can see that the lock states shows as locked. So we're going to change that. So we're going to type in fastboot OEM unlock. Hit enter. So you see this prompt on your Nexus 7. Use your volume keys to navigate. Select yes unlock bootloader and hit the power key. So on your command prompt, you can see some stuff happening, unlocking bootloader, erasing user data, blah, blah, blah. Let that complete. All right, 25 seconds later, we are done. So guys, now just go back, uh, go back the clockwork mod recovery file and the update super SU file that we downloaded. Copy both into the Android SDK folder. All right, and paste it. So guys, now for convenience, Let's rename the recovery file as just uh, recovery. All right, now go back to the command prompt. Type in fastboot flash recovery recovery dot img and hit enter. So now we flashed a custom recovery onto the Nexus 7 2013. So now back to the Nexus 7. Using the volume keys to navigate, select recovery mode and hit the power key. So the Nexus 7 will now boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So yeah, seeing the scanned mount errors is normal. Don't worry about it. Don't panic. So again, use volume keys to navigate or if you have a touch recovery, you can use the touch keys. Just go down, select mounts and storage and format data slash data and slash data slash media. Hit N, I mean hit the power key. Yes, format. Okay. 
All right, now that's done. Go back and wipe cache partition. Yes, wipe cache. All right, so once that's done, let's get back to the computer. So now again, for convenience, let's rename the update supersu file to just supersu.zip. So guys, now back to the command prompt, type an adb push supersu.zip space slash sd card slash. And now back to the Nexus 7, unplug the Nexus 7 from the PC. Now scroll down, install zip, choose zip. So guys, uh, if you get the no files found error, just quickly plug your Nexus 7 back into the PC and repeat the same command and unplug it and choose zip. And this time you'll find Super SU over here. All right, in this part of this tutorial, that is the flashing of the Super SU from Clockwork Mod, if any of the commands are failing, don't worry, just reboot your uh, Nexus 7. It will boot into Android, connect it to your PC, copy paste the supersu.zip onto your internal storage and come back and repeat this procedure. It is. It will work. Again, just for convenience, we are pushing supersu.zip via ADB commands to the Nexus 7 just to save the trouble of booting it up once, transferring it manually and then doing the same. All right. So install super su now that's done so go back hit reboot system now so your nexus 7 2013 will now boot up keep in mind the first boot here will be a little longer than your regular boot times so don't panic if it takes about five minutes for your nexus 7 2013 to boot up so just wait for it i'll be back with you guys once it's up Alright guys, we're up, so let me quickly run through setup. So we are done with setup. Let me just increase the brightness. So quickly going into settings. Okay, I'm sorry. So now for opening up the app drawer, you will find Super SU. So, no thanks. Just to show you guys that it's working, let me quickly go to the Play Store and uh, download the Root Checker app. So there you go, root checker is installed, so let me quickly open it, agree, OK, verify root access, grant, and there you go. The Nexus 7 is now rooted and we have a custom recovery and clockwork mod recovery installed. So I guess that's pretty much it for this little tutorial guys, hope you guys found it useful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And to stay updated with the latest in tech, make sure you check out our partners over at omegatroid.co. And as always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys soon in the next one. Till then, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.